What's up, YouTube? I just want to say that, uh, that this is not something I've talked about very many times in high detail or something that I talked about uh, and with great concern, but this is just something that has dawned upon me recently. Uh, has brought and brought to my attention because uh, it took me a while to realize this, um, and uh, mainly because I've been so preoccupied with figuring out way more important stuff before something like this, um, or at least what I thought was way more important stuff. But um, this I actually think is pretty important. Um, for a lot of reasons. Um, so this is actually just um, something where I would say uh, I have talked about it a long time ago on this channel saying that uh, it is something that could be a good thing, but uh, yeah, I just, uh, you know, really sincerely did not think that this could ever be a good thing without um, some sort of thing that most people say is the only way for it to become what they would call a good or acceptable thing. Well, I actually disagree with that. Um, yeah, so... Um, Basically, long story short, um, I just think that, uh, um, uh, so yeah, basically one of the things that I taught is that, uh, uh, so yeah, like basically, this is obviously going to be cringe. A topic to talk about. This is going to be something that people will find uh, to be very uncomfortable to talk about. And, uh, I mean, it is, for me, pretty cringe to talk of and uncomfortable to talk about. Um, but, uh... Uh, so yeah, basically, um, uh, uh, obviously what I'm referring to is the fact that I have talked about, uh, <clears throat> you know, having, uh, you know, adult fun with, uh, people in uh, the bedroom, but, uh, you know, I just think that, uh, you know, there's an irony in talking of this in society because everyday by everyday people standards in society safety is supposedly what comes first. Now, of course, as I have talked about and proven for a long time, it's really not what comes first in in society's mind because they're evil, mentally ill animals. But uh it is for some, I mean, for some things, it's what comes first, according to them, and they do show it, which I talked about since the first video. But uh, I think that the reality is that, and this is just to point out the irony in everyday and neurotypical's own logic on this matter that I didn't point out the first time I talked about this on this channel. Uh, the, the greatest irony of this is that these people try to say safety first when it comes to, no matter what, put safety first and make sure safety is, like, uh, given the most, uh, you know, like, effort, like, people work towards safety, like, 
So, like, if this is their logic and this is their opinion, like, I just want to point out the irony in this because this is just worth uh, exposing. Uh, like I said, this is going to be um, pretty uncomfortable, but uh, yeah, it's pretty obvious that the, the uh, adult fund in the bedroom that I'm referring to is actually when applied towards who in society should be allowed to do this by the law. Okay. The funny thing is neurotypicals tell on themselves here. They try to say uh, it would be appropriate to do this with your own uh, relatives. Um, just pointing out the mental illness in this, of course, uh, just like I am pointing out the mental illness in, you know, the world in every video so far. Um, and the irony in this is that they try to say this, yet they also try to say that they also try to say that somehow it's for the best to engage in this with your own relatives. And I'm not just talking about the ones that do it against the law, but there are the you know laughing matter for so long in memes and online. Um, I'm talking about more than that. I'm saying all these everyday people, by their own logic, is them trying to say that it is better. It would be better. It would be better for relatives to do this, because according to their all their sources of information that they say is 100% true. Safety comes first, and according to those same sources of information, it's written in them that to give safe to sit for safety first to be always done correctly. Like, you have to just, like, um, how do I say this? Uh, basically, just, uh, I don't know, just, just to put it, uh, the only way I could put this is that they'll try to say that, um, I mean, yeah, like I said, this applies anywhere in the world, okay, but basically, wherever you go in life or wherever you go in the world, uh, what your experiences are primarily determined, obviously, by, uh, you know, uh, other people, strangers, and, uh, yeah, and, uh, it's just, uh, really just, uh, kind of hard to imagine how it could be the case that, uh, trying to, you know, Bring in other people outside of your family circle could be a good idea. When, according to neurotypicals, all those people out there are more risky than your own family. And according to them, safety first means don't create any risks. No matter what, don't create any risk. And according to them, the risks come from there being people outside of a family circle coming into a family circle. So, so even by their own logic, it must be more risky and less safe to engage in adult fun in the bedroom with people outside of your family. Again, just pointing out the mental illness and their own logic that they don't want to either don't realize or don't or do, but don't want to admit it. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just think that, uh, it's pretty funny, uh, because, you know, logically speaking, if you don't, if you stay outside or you go out of your family for this, for adult fun and outside of the bedroom, you do put yourself at immense safety risk. It is true. I mean, you're out in the great unknown by yourself or not, but you're in the territory of who knows what or what or any kind of strangers who and you know with all kinds of retarded people 
being out on their own or out there into the world, they are just going to be prone, disaster prone, and more likely to uh, lose their life or lose valuables or make huge mistakes. Uh, so, yeah, and uh, it's uh, pretty hard to imagine that, uh, you know, they're not going to be at a hu more of a risk. You know, as soon as you try to get anybody outside of your family, whether it's for a friendship or adult fun or anything, anything or anything else, because there's other things too, or any form of activities, is when the most problems come to that family member who then, because of that, brings more pro uh, exponentially more problems to the family who has to then solve it for them which then will make the family less intelligent and more likely to engage in unsafe forms of fun anyway, with each other or not. So, so realistically speaking, it makes no sense by their own logic. According to them, these are the, thi the things I mentioned are the, the, are the causes. If, if those are the things that are the causes, according to them, then by their own logic, it must be, they're saying it's, it's, it makes more sense. So then if it is the case, why don't they just do why don't they just make this happen in, in society if this is what they really believe? Well, because neurotypicals are crazy. They're mentally ill. They'd go against their own beliefs without even knowing. Like I said for years. And uh But in my opinion is it really more safe to try people uh I mean, like I said originally, it, it can be more safe. It just depends who you're, who you're with, and how how smart the family member is. You, know, you got someone like me, a neurodivergent, is not good to do retarded shit outside of a family circle the way a neurotypical would, who actually is at much higher risk. Now, of course, this also comes down to another thing. What do neurotypicals say about this? Do they say that sex is really a need? Well, of course, it's a need. It's a craving. After a certain age, and it's pretty obvious what people will do if they don't get it. They become even crazier. Hence why they've gone to such lengths to get it, and hence why this has been said in studies by neurotypicals. And, uh, yeah, so, like, it's pretty obvious that, uh, you know, by their own logic, it's less risky to just do that within the family. Of course, it doesn't make sense why they disapprove of it, if that's what they believe. Um, one of the risks, according to them, is, oh, well, you know, inbreeding, but why not just, I don't know, just, they could just, you know, that that's, like, true, but, like, at the same time, if they really want to do that, why don't they just come together, say, as a unit and have a discussion, have discussions to, and surveillance systems to make sure there's no, there's birth control always used and like safe, safe tech, uh, safe, uh, you know, equipment used so that nothing happens. No, there's no inbreeding. It's just, just having sex, but no, but no, you know, actual birth or pregnancies allowed. And this is pretty much be, something that will have to force them to, you know, have happen because they're all, they'll all be monitoring each other during these activities. Of course. So, you know, again, this is just my opinion, uh, neurotypicals belief about this by their own logic and the source of information. Does it make sense for it to not happen? No, it does not. Because again, at the end of the day, there's nothing, it's, there's nothing more likely to cause financial issues for people and psychological issues and health issues than going outside of your family circle. The only exception to this would be for the rare few families that are actually abusive to who's in the family unit and not really supportive, to which they should abandon that family unit. But anything else, which is what most families are, would make more sense uh, 
according to their own logic. And if what they're saying is true, it actually would make more sense. Not saying it's, a, like I said, never said it's a big deal. Never said anybody said it's a really big deal compared to some of the more uh, uh, important things. But yeah, in my opinion, it could make more sense. This is one of the last things I talk about after everything else, of course, since this is such an insignificant topic uh, as a form of resistance to the tyrannical mental illness of neurotypicals. Uh, so, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's all for this video. Thanks. Bye.